Alright guys, how's it going? It is a Friday the 26th of February 2021 and you're watching CopTalk.tv Alright, Interim Marseille boss Nasser Laguet says he hopes Mo Salah will leave Liverpool and sign for Bayern Munich Well he needs to keep his opinions to himself, doesn't he? What's about that? Well, you know what I mean? 62-year-old Moroccan who was speaking on Egypt's on-time sports when he also explained why he thinks Liverpool have been underperforming. He said Salah is currently one of the best players in the world. I hope he will join Bayern Munich because they have several stars who can help him. We've got... What the fuck are you on? I love Liverpool very much. All right. And I am sad for their recent poor results. All right, you've bought a bit, back, a bit of respect back. Uh, I think that not recruiting last summer affected the team. Uh, obviously, Salah continues to be linked with uh, a possible Anfield exit, but a dream move to Real Madrid or even a move to Barcelona, who would be considered his second choice if offered the chance to move to La Liga, may not be in the offing as both clubs are struggling financially. The player and his representative know this and are keeping their options open by even suggesting that he could extend his stay with the Reds. This is an article on coptalk.com. Great website, it's a great website. 23 years old, that shite. Uh, under contract until 2023, Salah turns 29 in June. You see, first of all, that's just someone's opinion. That's fine, as he can say what he wants. Um, but Salah, you know, I think... That if I don't know if you've ever read my editorial, The Egyptian Plan... Uh, coptalk.com front page click on click on kick boom, kick uh, click on opinion my name and then uh, you'll see uh, the Egyptian plan it's probably worth looking at um, if you give a fuck I, th I think Mo Salah wants to play for Real Madrid that's my personal opinion I think Barcelona would be a fallback option if Real Madrid wasn't an option and Barca offered him the chance however both of those clubs genuinely are struggling financially and the, you know you, you talk about debt with these Spanish clubs have always got debt but it does seem like there really is they don't want to do this that and the other and if Real Madrid wanted to do something wouldn't they go for Mbappe anyway um Barcelona, you know, they've struggled. They couldn't even find a few million in, in January, if my memory serves me right. I can't remember. I spoke about this recently. Um, so, you know, maybe he hasn't got uh, those options of, uh, of moving to, 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 to La Liga. Okay, so that goes in our favour if you want to keep him. It goes against FSG, I think, the owners, because I think that rightly so, maybe they would be thinking now is the time to cash in and get 100 million, 130 million or something. But I don't think that's going to happen. And that's how they do their transfer policy, usually, isn't it? I think it's fair to say. I'm going to put my hands up before I get slaughtered in, you know, caps locked to fucking death in the comments. But usually they, they would sell a big name and then reinvest into the swap, something like that. Okay, which, which is, makes sense, really. However, um, I'm not sure that that money is going to be there for them. So then that does leave other clubs like maybe Bayern Munich and uh, PSG, for example. Well, Bayern Munich really going to pay the sort of money FSG would want? I don't know. Does Mo Salah really want to, to leave Liverpool? I don't think he just wants to go, yeah, do you know what, I'll go to Germany. I don't, I don't see that. I think he's got the desire or the, the ambition, the hope, to, you know, the dream to go to Real Madrid. So if he can't get that, and maybe can't even fall back onto Barcelona. I think he then turns around and says, "You know, what? I'm happy where I am." Because I don't think he's unhappy at Liverpool. I think it's just part of his his plan, you know, his aspirations or whatever. So again, you might have seen suggestions today. Oh, because you know what people are like? They go on fucking social media and then they'll go, "Oh, Mo Salah's off to Bayern Munich just because they've read an article somewhere." So anyway, I thought I'd bring it to your attention. Um, I, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he if he did sign an extension with Liverpool. I wouldn't be because of the reasons I've just given you. But I do think that if, there, if the opportunity presents itself for Mo Salah to, uh, to go to La Liga, and in particular Real Madrid, I think that they would bite their hand off now. And I think that Liverpool Football Club would as well. I mean, the suggestions that Liverpool want to change that front three, you know, we, I feel like we've been talking about that for years. Some people are saying, Firmino, it's time to sting your hook. It might be a nice lad and all that. We've got lovely teeth, right? But, you know, it might be time to change that a little bit. Um... Mm, that's it right that's all i got to say so if you've heard the, the, the Germany rumours that's where they stem from this mush uh, waffling on TV um, and um, what was the other thing um, and but maybe you know maybe I'm not so certain that they'll get that, that, that move to Spain I don't know 
honestly don't know. Um, another thing that I was going to say was that was why I think you know when Mo Salah did the sit down interview with the Spanish media that was organised right. He's a very shy guy. He's like me. He's very shy and, and laid back and, and hides away, right? But he did a sit down interview. That was all orchestrated and planned. They knew what they were doing, right? So they did the sit down interview in the middle of a pandemic. Think about it. Right, with the Spanish media to get that message out there that they want that, right? That so come on, you'd have to be thick as fucking two short planks not to realise that. If you seriously do not think that that was what Mo Salah was doing, right, you need to unsubscribe right now because we are millions and millions of miles apart on on on, on our views, right? Ah, fuck, come on, guys, come on. Don't know what's best with this one. I'm telling you. Now listen. So after that, not long after that. They then came out the the uh, the suggestion that oh you know be happy to stay at Liverpool and that yeah we know fucking where because you're not going to get you moved to Real Madrid the way things look that's why I ain't got a problem with Mo Salah at all I'm, I've got to admit I'm not too keen uh, on his agent I'm not too keen on his agent um, but there you go so uh, I support you know whatever the boss wants to do I, I'm down with that that's cool and um, I think. You know, other teams, opposition teams now, they've sussed us out. They know what we're like. They know what that front three is all about. And uh, I think maybe it's time for change. All right, I'm just delighted that we've got Jota coming back. Uh, we've got the other kid at Leeds United that we've been linked with, which I might make a video about in a minute. If I don't make another video today, please go and look at coptalk.com because there's a news article on there about Manchester United and him as well. All right? And I'm sure I must have talked about it in the podcast. Don't know. Don't know if I talked about it in the Cop Talk podcast today. I'm not sure, uh, but there is a new episode out of that today. And don't know as best, but the Cop Talk podcast is about, I think it's about 45 minutes long or something like that, and it'll give you a roundup of everything um, that uh, that's going on uh, or has been going on over the last 24 hours. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to get off. Can you believe it's seven minutes long already? I could have had two shacks in that time. Right, with myself. Uh, catch up with you later. I might do another video. I'm not sure. It depends. I've got all sorts to do. All right, speaking a bit. All right.